Hello, everyone. How Hi, are everyone. you guys? I've got Don with me, and we'll have somebody else joining us a little bit later. So um, stay tuned. Um, Don, you want to talk about what you're bringing tonight? Tonight, um, I do have a little bit of uh, vintage um, houseware, house decor. I have jewelry, of course. Might even get into some clothing. And uh, I do have my latex gloves and my soap. Okay. I have some really cool stuff tonight. I brought some Elvis items. I've got some squishies, squashies, whatever the heck you want to call those little cute things. <laughs> I also got some sterling silver jewelry I might bring. Some really cool pieces, too. And then, um, what else is there that I got? Oh, some cool, cool stuff I picked up today. So, um, if there's anything in particular you guys are looking for, please let us know. If we have it, we'll bring it. If not this time, next time. Hi, Mr. Stash. Hello, Miss Penny. Um, we'll sit here and chat and give some people some time to come in before we start with the auction. So how's the weather your guys' way? Hi, I've been Penny, working on Mr. Stash. Penny, I have been working on getting some stainless steel in and I do have some coming, so stay tuned. <laughs> Not one. So how's the weather your way, Dawn? It, I tell you what, it is gorgeous out right now. I can't complain. It was windy today and it got cloudy and it looked like it was going to rain. But then mm -hmm. it cleared up and it got sunny again. And so, yeah, just some wind. That was like the most we had was the wind. That's pretty much here with us. It was wind and actually it was pretty sunny. Yeah. Yep. Thank God, no more snow, but it did start snowing a little bit. Yeah, I mean, today was gorgeous compared to, I mean, today was definitely a good day. It makes me think spring is on the way. Okay, yep. Mr. Sash, you can take mine too. And by the way, Mr. Sash, do you like to be called William or Bill? Or would you like to be called Mr. Stash? Or Stash? So many different options there. <laughs> <laughs> Which option? Which option do you want? Option number one, option number two. <laughs> now be careful because it might take everything you get tonight away. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and it's kind of getting hot in here. There we go. That's right, stash. All right, just want to make sure stash is what I'll call you. See, he he's real close to me. Stash is. He lives real close to me. Oh. So he got a little bit of snow, so did we. So did I. <laughs> but I can send it all back his way and he can keep it because he's up north. Yeah. I will not call you that, Stash. Hi, Gianna. How are you? Hi, Gianna. Um, those of you that don't know who Gianna is, she does uh, some jewelry herself. Um, she, I think she makes her own, right, Gianna? You make your own jewelry. It's really beautiful. I got one from her, and I love it. Yeah. So if you're not subscribed to her channel, make sure you are subscribed to her because she has some real nice pieces. In fact, I'll show you the piece I got from her. Oh, Penny says it was in the 70s yesterday. Wow. That would be awesome. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I want some of that weather. This is my piece. It would never be for sale. This is what Gianna oh, did. Oh, that's beautiful. So it has like little, I'm not real, quartz. And I'm not sure what the other stones are. 
Yeah, that's pretty. Oh, I got it from her sister, Edna. Sorry. <laughs> oh, yes. Her, her sister sells, too. Yep. Yep. That one came from her sister. Either way, I love it. And um, emeralds. That's what they are. that back we got five people in the chat thank you gianna i can't remember what they were <laughs> and i can't remember if it was from you or edna penny is from georgia stash <laughs> capone <laughs> you gotta watch for she'll sneak in that bid and get you at the last second All right. So how's weather your way, Gianna? I still have some coffee from earlier, and it's still nice and warm in this little mug. So let's go ahead and start welcoming some people in, since we didn't do that formally. Bob just waved hi. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Bob? I wasn't sure. <laughs> yeah, he's getting ready to uh, leave. I'm going to shut okay. off that fan. So right can, off. Yeah, that way I can hear better. One portion? No, just leave that open. There we go. I think I'm all set. So we got Penny in the house. Thank you, Penny, for coming. Yeah. We have Stash yeah. in the house. Hello, hello. Of course, Gianna. Hello. And is there anyone I missed so far? No. Welcome, everybody. So. And maybe I can give a little motivation for some people that does reselling and might need a little bit more fuel to their motivation, their fire. So I looked at a quote that kind of resonate with us a little bit, and I'm going to share that. And it is, our greatest weakness lies in giving up. The most certain way to succeed is always to try just one more time. So you can see how that can kind of fit reselling. Sometimes we want to give up and sometimes we don't want to keep going. And you got to remember, you got so to do it one more time. That is so true. And for most of you that don't know, I'm also a life and health coach. And that's why I like quotes. And I like saying things like that to help motivate people. Yeah. So. Oh, Penny, you're working on your taxes now. <laughs> I'm still waiting. I, I didn't mind like at the end of January. So now I'm just waiting for them to give <laughs> my return back. So I'll kind of show you some of the pieces I got so far that I will be bringing. Just kind of give you a preview. I have this piece here. It does have authentic garnet in it with mother of pearl. This is actually a carved piece of bone and carnelian. <laughs> I kind of did, Penny. I am so sorry. <laughs> I'm supposed to be asking her what she did today, and I. I... <laughs> sorry, Penny. <laughs> <laughs> the next piece was a really cool find that I'm bringing tonight. So, it is both of those pieces are nine two five, tested and verified. So I'll have this. It is a rosary, sterling silver. Oh, that's right, Penny. That's why there's no hurry up. So far, I've been so lucky not to have to pay taxes. 
not much at all anyway but this year is going to be a little different I'm going to end up having to pay what else did I get I got some brand new pieces like this and I know I'm holding it upside down I got some sports cards that are all sitting back here behind me. Some Elvis stuff. Um, yeah, I gotta try to get that sold tonight. So, so if you guys are in the background, kind of lurking, say hi. Let us know you're here. So far, I've only seen four people say hi. Three, sorry, three. Awesome, Penny, you listed three items today. So, yeah, keep going with that one. Keep going, keep going. And I can't wait for Carol to come back. I love that lady. Yes. I think we're all getting excited and antsy waiting for her to come back. But I know when she comes back, it'll be great. She was going to come back on sun Sunday until she had that fall. Yeah, that fall. Boy, she I said, you got a goosey on that year. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I did see it. Hello, Love Hollis. Hello, Lisa. I didn't see ya. Hello, Perlini. This is a preview to start us off to kind of get some time to get more people in, talk a little bit. If there's any question you guys have that maybe you don't know how to do on your own as a reseller that we could possibly help you with, we'll do our best to try. We don't know everything. We are not perfect. We are human. So keep that in mind. But we'll tell you what we do know. Hi, Perlini. Oh, and I have ghosts in the Hi, house. Hi, Pearl, yeah. Lisa. Hi, everybody. Hello, Lisa. Oh, and the other Lisa. We got two Lisas. Okay, so we got two. <laughs> yep, Lisa J and Lisa C. If you are new and you never registered, I want to ask you to register just in case you want to bid. That way we can get it out of the way before we get started. So I will need your YouTube name, your real name. Some of you guys know how it goes, but sometimes there's some new people that may be lurking that don't. So this is why I'm going over it again. I need your real name, your YouTube name, your shipping address, and your um, PayPal email address. <laughs> well, that just means the Lisa's know how to do it. <laughs> oh, Lisa said, Dawn, I got my package today. Thank you. Everything is awesome. Oh, good, good, good. Wow, that was fast. Usually I've been nervous lately because the I've noticed my packages are going out still either good to really good but the packages i'm getting have slowed way down, down. <laughs> i don't know what it is but that's kind of how it's been it's like hurry up and I, make it. You better hurry up and i just it got a box from tiffany that was supposed to be here a week ago which isn't bad but i i would i came this close to making a claim on the the post office <laughs> i came that close because i'm like uh it says in transit that's all it keeps saying <laughs> oh my gosh that's what's going yeah. on with the mail right now too and it's like i can send you out a package you may get it real fast or you may get it real slow so. see so far my packages usually knock on wood are getting there at the time they should normally would or to better like earlier so so far so good, but it's just my packages are like, ah, 
Because Tiffany's, I, I mean, today was the day I was going to make the claim. And Bob's like, you got two packages. And I'm like, please say one of them was Tiffany. And he goes, yes. Nice. <laughs> like, pretty good. Holy cow, Lisa, that was pretty quick. That went fast for for the from going from Florida to California. Wow, yeah. Awesome. Hi, Manji. Hi, Aaron. Hello, guys. Thank you for coming. Especially media mail. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And there's not much you can do with how it gets oh, to the person. Yeah. Quick. Yeah. The only thing I can say is remain patient. Yes. If nothing happens within a week or two, you need to reach out for lost mail. And yeah. then I usually get it booted. <laughs> Vintage memories. <laughs> just, just his like uh, memorabilia kind of stuff. Nothing like roll over the top pricey stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, if you want me to go dig up his grave, I don't know how much trouble I get into. But no, I'm, uh, I'm sure not too much, Dolly. Don't worry about it. <laughs> not that it'll it. happen. What could possibly happen with that? Uh, me puking? Scared to death of <laughs> dead things? I, I don't know. <laughs> How's everybody? How did Hello. your weekend go? Was everybody's weekend good? That's good to know you received the package, Love Hollis, but I'm sorry it didn't fit. Aw. Uh, oh, she'll give them to her daughter. Hey, there you go. Right. There you go. At least she didn't have to go too far to give the... <laughs> right, or have to go somewhere. Oh, fine. That's one way to look at it. At least, you know, you could look right in your own home. That's that's true vintage memories. <laughs> I think they would have me in the back of the car before I even got one foot over. And I'll have two feet in the grave myself. <laughs> yeah. You know, I don't, there's a lot of controversy over that. Nobody really truly knows. You know, truly, uh, every day is the same as a reseller. Oh, no. I thought she was close. I'm so sorry. Oh, okay. I thought she lived with you. I'm sorry. I, I thought the wrong thing then. Because I figured they would fit you. It was a size 11. I'm so sorry. He was dead before it, well, yeah. It, it's just like so many other questions on some of the most other famous people too that disappeared. All right, we got 13 people in the chat. We can go ahead and get started. We'll go ahead and start with Dawn so I can get the other pieces ready to go. Okay. Alrighty, guys, I'm going to start off with jewelry, but like I said, I have so many other things that are going to be coming into play at different times, so don't worry. There will be a uh, hopefully good sort of mix, okay? Uh, we're going to start light. We're going to start on a costume. This is a lot, a small lot. Um, I'm just going to start out at $5. That's it, guys. Uh, we'll start out easy. Uh, what I have here is a one, two, three, four piece. No, not four. We got four, five, six, six piece set, guys. And what I have here is it's kind of like the paper mache set. I have two pair of earrings here. One is these uh, gold oblong hoops. They're not real gold, gold tone. And then the rest of the stuff, like I said, is paper mache. The pink dangles are paper mache beads. 
And then this big one here with the red beads is paper mache also. It has a leather tassel. And then this other necklace here, it is, let me take it separate. It is paper mache with the multicolored uh, seed beads. We got the orange and the green. And so all paper mache. To add to those four pieces, I have the evil eye uh, necklace that says be happy. And it is in the red. That little charm says be happy. And then I also have this pink bangle. Uh, this is weighty. Um, it's really good quality. Um, it is not a clamper. It's just a bangle. So you have the pink bracelet to go with the pink earrings. You've got the red bracelet to go with the red necklace. And this is all starting at five, guys. Like I said, this is six pieces, two bracelets, two necklaces, and two pairs of earrings starting at five. And believe it or not, paper mache beads and stuff are very sturdy. They are very, actually, they're very durable. Um, they make them really well to where they stay together for the mo most part. You don't usually see ones come apart unless, uh, you know, you don't want to soak them in like water or anything like that for periods of time. Otherwise, they'll start you know, unraveling, but uh, yeah, really good shape, starting at five, so that's that. And then I've got this cool pearl set. This is one set, I love it so much. Um, I didn't wanna let this set go. This was one of those sets. Oh, okay, thank you, Bob, thank you, thank you. Bob just left for work, he, he was letting me know he just got a ride. Thank you, thank you. Oh, thank you, Lisa. Um, this next set, guys, actually has some 925 in it and some real pearls. So I am gonna start out this small lot. This is a lot of three. It's going to start out, we're gonna start it out at $25. Um, so I'm gonna start out with the costume piece that's vintage. This is a set of uh, vintage costume pearls here. They are braided and woven, but look at the beautiful uh, clasp. It's a rose and it's a box uh, clasp. You know, one of those pin clasps that you unhook. I'm gonna have to move that light again. I had Bob move it before he left, but Oh, I just adore that clasp. Okay, to go with, here comes the 925 part. This is the one I didn't want to let go. These are like uh, freshwater pearls, I believe. Are these, they look, yeah, I'm trying to feel them right now. Um, they are, um, hand knotted in between. There's actually two knots in between. I'm going to show you the way they are in between the pearls. And then I'll show you the 925 part. Uh, let me take off the other net I want to show you. This thing is so gorgeous. It's kind of woven on some, uh, just some Invisiwire. And you can see how it's knotted. It's just so gorgeous. It's, it's like uh, that invisible chain type of thing. Um, it is stamped 925 on the clasp back there. So you've got two of these necklaces plus, uh, we got this pearl uh, stretch bracelet. Now this has some uh, beads. I did not check to see if they were sterling. Um, my guess would be no, they probably are not. Let me, uh, let's do this. We're gonna drop the price. Guys, I'm gonna drop the price right now. We're gonna drop the price to $15, okay? We're gonna drop it to 15, um, cause I do not know if these are sterling or not, but like I said, I would have to say probably not uh, because of the sheer amount they put on here. And usually they wouldn't put this many sterling silver um, spacers 
on a stretch. Uh, so that's just logic, but I did not test them. But you can see the pearls right there. They have the rib uh, bodies, really, really nice. Now that goes with both necklaces, okay? This is a three-piece set. I love, love, love this set. Beautiful. Uh, you got the vintage with, with the uh, 925, and it all kind of works. So if anybody's interested, $15. Uh, that's for my second. Let's go to the third. And the third is going to be this stone piece um, that I have. And I don't believe, let me see if this was, no. I don't believe this is, I didn't check it for sterling. It is not marked. Uh, so to my knowledge, it is not sterling. Uh, but if it is, it is, you know, you just, that's a bonus for you guys. I'm going to start out this one out at 20, guys. This is a lot of stone. I'm going to measure it. Oh, not starting out at $2. <laughs> Sorry, guys, it's not starting out at 2 you're like, Dawn, what are you doing? Okay, look at this one, guys. Uh, we got a beautiful, uh, let's see, quartz and my guess would be agate. Yeah, we got some quartz and it looks like agate and mostly, honestly, mostly agate. But we got some clear coat um, quartz. Oh, I love the agate in this too. There's like some uh, stony, gray colored agate and some brown right there you can see the banding in the agate uh this is really long and then you come down here to the drop crystal tassel which is so beautiful now i will um measure this for you this is a lot of stone but like i said i did not test the clasp i mean if it is it is uh you know you guys can check it you know if you want to I just didn't take the time. It wasn't marked. So, you know, but this one's a long one, guys. This is probably, it goes down to your belly button, probably, I would say. Uh, so that would be 34 inches. 34 inches, guys. That ain't bad. That ain't bad at all. And uh, some of you can double it and make it work, obviously. Really gorgeous piece. Starting out at 20 if anybody's interested. Um, the weight of these crystals are, um, there's some weight to them. I do not know if they're Swarovski or not. Um, they would have the swan, so I doubt it. But yet, um, this whole piece is not, it. the whole piece would have to be done by Swarovski in order for it to have the, the swan. Uh, but the crystals may be Swarovski. I just don't know. Uh, or they may just be a uh, regular crystal. Uh, but very nice. That is, yeah, I love it. Lots of agate, guys. This is full of agate, uh, mainly. There's, there's not as much quartz. It's mainly agate. So that is my third. If anybody's interested in any of these, just let me know. Okay. I'm going to start this first piece out at. Good night, uh, uh, Aaron. See you later. Thanks for coming. Hi, Aaron. Oops, sorry. Not sure what I did there. Hold up. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I hit a button and it took me off the screen. Oh, that's right. You do, Sandra. Uh, we will be praying for you. Yes, Andrew, we'll be praying for you uh, for a speedy recovery. There you go. So this one is a cool piece that my son couldn't figure out for the longest time while looking at it. It is an Elvis Presley jukebox with all his songs on it. Salt and pepper shaker. Oh, how cute. And yes, I will take very, very good care with shipping. Because this is not, it will break if I'm not careful with it. So there's the pepper shaker. It says Elvis on the side. 
It has markings on the bottom. And this is in like that. Hi, Diamond. So it has the court, the plugs on both sides. And this is in really good condition. So we'll go ahead. If there's any interest, it's $8 to start on that. We'll just keep it moving along. The next piece. It's the same thing. We're going to start this one out. It is an Elvis musical ornament. And I, I looked these up and they're going for way more than what's marked here. It, this one plays Blue Christmas. This is what it was going for back in the day. It has its signature authenticity sticker right here. And the year on it, um, I don't know. There's no year on it. Hmm. So here's the bottom. And maybe it'll show. Maybe it won't. Too glossy. Picky Nikki's in at eight. There we go. This has been unopened. I don't want to open it up and take it out. So, Nikki Nikki's in at eight. We're looking for 10. This does require three AAA batteries. So, you'll need those if you want to play this. Nikki Nikki's in at eight. Do I see ten? If there is no other bits, I'm going to start calling it going once. To pick a Nikki for eight. Looking for ten. This is actually a pretty cool piece. It's got some type of paperwork in the back. Just kind of seeing what's in there. Going twice. And hello, by the way, Picky Nikki. Fear warning. Anyone else before I call it? We are now sold to Picky Nikki for eight dollars. Picky, I, I haven't sent out your box yet because I figured going on today I can get some more in it. That way, um, get more for your money. If it'll fit in, it doesn't take the price up for shipping. Just so I'll let you know. Thank you, Sandra. Hello, how are you? <clears throat> and, and you're. I did say hi to you earlier. Okay. okay, this is a cold piece, but I got to point out a couple things on it. Starting bit on this one is going to be 10 bucks. Let me point out, unless I, no, there is one wee little wearing still missing. It's an easy fix if you can find it. Or find one, otherwise, it's a stocking. Oh, cute. Okay, so I got to I gotta mute this so I don't get the copyright strike here. Thank you. 
I don't know how long it takes before it shuts up, but it, it just lights up. It's really cool. So $10 on that to start. It's called Elvis Illuminated Musical Stocking. And of course, you can hear the song. It's all shook up. I got to mute this because I'm. <laughs> there it is. There it is. But it's really cool. And I, I just found it in the box of Elvis. It stuff is. So $10 to start. These go for some good money. I researched it on line before bringing it. Um, I don't know what year. Um, it does have the signature piece, the authenticity uh, sticker. Yeah, I don't see the year. So, if no interest, I'm going to put it off to the side. I could always bring it back later. And that's my three. Dawn, are you ready? I'm ready. All right. And thank you, Picky Nikki. Okay. So I have a vintage uh, egg, deviled egg um, holder, I guess you could call it. Uh, I'm going to start this out at $12. Uh, this is really, really cute. Um, it's got the rooster right there. It's got a tomato, a beet, a uh, cucumber. And then it's got the uh, um, rooster or the chicken, whatever. Uh, and it's got the olives. And here's the back. You can tell, I mean, there's somewhere it was loved. So this is starting out at 12 if anybody's interested. I know there's all kinds of deviled egg uh, plates out there. A lot of them are usually uh, made out of glass, so. I know I've seen this before in the past growing up. It wasn't my grandma, but somebody had one uh, real close to this, if not the same one. Um, so yeah, it's an older style. It's got the uh, the gold lining all the way around i i don't know if that's you know real gold lots of times they did because they used it on their china and stuff but i don't know about that i don't want to say it is or isn't when i don't know you know what i'm saying okay uh the next one we are going to start out at 12 also And this is an older little, uh, like, stone uh, casserole dish, if you will. And it's on this silver tone, um, like, basket. Uh, it does have a mark on the bottom. It says, um, Guernsey Cooking Ware. G U E R N S E Y, cooking ware. So I'll show you the stamp on the bottom. Let me take off the lid, that'll help. So um, this is, I just need to wipe it down on the inside. But there's the inside. And don't worry, I will wipe it down. And here's the lid. It's got the steam hole at the top so it's white on the inside and no i do not know if it is sterling uh i have no clue it does have little uh pedestal feet uh four of them to set it down these are these old timey ones you guys have seen these before uh these are older little uh casserole dishes so um Oh, yeah, Lynn, yeah. 
This one, guys, it's really nice. I love the detail work. Uh, it reminds me of the old silverware, you know, that had this type of design on, like, the spoon handles and stuff. So, how you doing, Wes? So, there's that. And then, for my third one, this one, um... This one, we're just going to, um, we're going to start out at $4, guys. Uh, I want you to take, a, this is a plate. I don't know anything about this one, but it says, has the letter L and a crown. It says 1855, email day. Well, we're going to wait on that, guys. I'm going to do some research on this plate. I'm sorry. We're going to wait on that, Oli, because I'm not real sure, and I don't want to, yeah, we're just going to wait. Because i just seen the last name, and that's a, a that's a French last name, and if I remember right, it could be pretty expensive. So we're going to hold off on that one. But this next one, guys, I am going to start out at $15. It is a sterling necklace. I'm sorry to do that to you guys. I really didn't look at that piece. I've had it for so long. It was in storage for so long that I did look at, I know I looked it up way back when, but it was so long ago that I've shown anybody that plate to sell that I don't even remember. Uh, this one's going to start out at 15. And this is a little, uh, what, Scotty dog. Uh, it is done. I, yeah. This is just, I want to put this out there. This is just uh, like acrylic or, um, I don't really know if it's acrylic or if it's, it doesn't feel like plastic. It somewhere, it's something like that. I don't exactly know what that's made out of, but it's just painted and glazed. This is on a sterling chain and it has been tested. It is sterling, uh, but the little doggy, I'm not really sure what he's made out of. It's not stone. It's nothing like that. Okay, guys. Is it's just like a painted something or other. That's all I can tell you. It's painted and it's shellacked. So that's all I can tell you. <laughs> so this one's starting out at 15. If anybody likes little Scotties. Really cute. It's got green and red and like a uh camel colored. It might be painted wood, guys. It might even be um it's not heavy so that might be it too it might just be a painted piece of wood i don't even know hey steven welcome so that is number three for me hello steven all right we're going to mine, and the next piece I have is a really cool piece. Let me get that out of my way. It is an Elvis Russian nesting doll. And the starting bid on this one is going to be $15. And here it is. There is quite a few pieces until you get to a wee little piece. Here's the bottom of it. Here's the top of it. Then you open it up. And I thought I had it all together. Then you have this next piece. There's the bottom. Matches the other piece. Then you open it up to the next piece. There's the bottom. Still matches the other bottoms. Picky Nikki's in at 15. So I see 17. Then you get this piece. Matching bottom. Matching top. Then you open it up to this piece. And that's the last of it. So. It's a really cool piece. And then you get to put them all back together.
Hi, Maury. Martruska? Is that what these are called? I just always known them as Russian nesting dolls. So, Joy's in at 17. Hi, Joy. Nice to see you. So, there you go. I didn't count how many pieces there was, and I'm not opening it up again to go through it again. So, Joy's in at 17, so I see 18. Really cool piece. And, of course, there's nothing on the back. Just the front with all the Elvises. Picking Nikki's in at 18. Do I see 20? Really nicely done. Yes, yes, Joy, two dollar increments. Oh, thanks, I got them done today. Aren't they pretty? Oh, wait. Yeah, that's right. So you would have to go 19. All right. Pick and Nikki's in at 19. So I'm looking for 21. You're right. Sorry, Joy. Thanks for catching that. Joy's in at 21. Do I see 23? This is a really cool piece. Very unique. Picky Nikki is out, and we're going to go ahead and start calling it. Going once to Joy for 21. I'm going to kind of write this down real quick. Oh, no, 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 you're okay, Joy. I've always done it like I've always done it from beginning till now. We're going to go twice to Joy for 21. Fair warning. We are now sold to Joy for 21. Thank you, Joy. Thank you, Picky Nikki. Oh, wow, Stephen. How cool. I'm jealous. Oh, that is I'm awesome, Stephen. Dolly, can you imagine? Where were we in this interview? <laughs> well, I don't know. I've done some pretty famous people stuff, like Dick Goddard's estate sales. I did Betty Tucker, whose husband was an author and a writer. So I can imagine. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that would be awesome. Yeah, joy. All right. The next piece is also a very unique piece. And this one, I'm going to start it out at 15. And it's still awesome to be interviewed by... Very well-known people. So it's awesome, Stephen. All right. So this is still in its plastic wrap. It has the piece here so you can stand it on the stand. And it is a plaque of his record. And this is actual record. Or it looks like a record. Let's put it that way. It's called Elvis Presley Heartbreak Hotel. These are authentic. Oh, they are 45s. Okay. I didn't know that. These are collector's edition. They're authorized. 
RIAA certified platinum record limited series number seven, which is low number of 90. And it's still in its plastic, so it's protected. Yeah, it's a real record. It just said it right here. Let's see if I can get the show. There you go. There is some weight to this for being a little picture. Wow. I didn't realize it was an actual record. So this one has Heartbreak Hotel, I Was the One, Money Honey, I forgot to remember to forget. That was a mouthful. Oh, okay. Well, thanks for letting me know. Because if I want to write it right here, I would have just assumed it was just a look, like something from somebody to collect. So, $15 starting bid on this piece. If no interest, I'm going to keep it moving right along. And we'll go ahead and go to the next piece. I can always bring it back later. This one is going to be a starting bit of 20. Awesome, Steven. That is so cool. That's great, Steven. All right. This is brand new. Unopened. It is a 4-in-1 gaming kit. Keyboard, mouse, headset, and mouse pad. It is considered a level up. Where's Paul? Oh, hey, Paul. It's good afternoon. <laughs> Hi, Paul. <laughs> Hi, Amy. So there's that part. It's sealed. I don't want to open it, so we're not going to open it. It's all there. 20 bucks to start this. If you do your comps on this, it's well worth what I'm starting these out at. Um, it has the gaming keyboard, the headset, the mouse, and the mouse pad. Um, the keyboard does light up. The mouse, I think the mouse lights up too. My son has one. He stole one, but that's okay. So. Mr. Uh, Stash is in at 20. Do I see 22? Sandra's in at 22. Do I see 24? Mr. Stash is out. We're going ahead and, and go. We're going to go ahead and start calling it. Going once to Stash for twenty. Not Stash. I'm sorry. Going once to Sandra for twenty-two. My apologies. Sorry, Sandra. Thank you, Stash. Thank you, Sandra. Going twice. And one else before I call it. We are now sold to Sandra for twenty-two. Stash, would you like I have two. And thank you, Sandra. Congratulations. All right, Stash, the other one's yours. And that's my three. Are you ready, Dawn? Okay. All right. All right, I have a set of two milk glass uh, little dishes. 
And for the both of them, it's going to start out at $12. And what they are are two paired dishes. And um, the inside has the fruit carving. It's got the pear, the apple, and the grapes, and the cherries down at the bottom. But then when you flip it, it's got the hibiscus flowers. I believe they are the Hawaiian flowers that are carved on the back side. So they're really cool. You get to starting at 12. Set of two. So the fruit and then the flowers. Really great shape. Uh, there's the leaves at the top. Cherries down at the bottom. And then the whole back is carved out. So $12 for both if anybody's interested. All right, we'll put those aside. My next one is also going to start out at 12. And uh, I've showed this once. I haven't shown it in a while, I don't think. Um, this is an old Avon uh, foaming bath oil bottle. Just the bottle, the oil is not in there. It is the Bird of Paradise. Um, scented foaming bath oil uh, yeah so this is an old uh older bottle i don't know how old but it's older it's pretty large i will do the measurements this isn't like um you had a little uh perfume bottle this is taller it is those actually go for some good money yeah yeah, they do. I, if you are a reseller, they, they usually do pretty good. Uh, this is not quite eight inches, probably seven and three quarters uh, tall. And then width at the most is about three and three quarters. So uh, that's that one starting at 12. It's pretty big. It's a pretty big one. So if anybody's interested, let me know. And for my third one, um, if you think I'm going to start out at 12, well, you're wrong. <laughs> I was on a roll, but we're going to change it to 15. Um, and this is going to be choice of, guys. So you've got three choices for this next one. Oh, cool, Stash. Uh, so. Oh, awesome, Sandra. So these are your choices. Um, I, You guys have seen these bottles before, these glass bottles. But I have three of them, and you get your choice of, okay? So the first one is this old um, uh, wine bottle, and it's got the leaves at the top with the grapes. It's clear. It's all carved out really, really nice on this one. Um, there's the bottom. Probably, yeah, it needs, it needs a cleaning. It's got the cork. Really, really nice. That's the clear one. That's choice one. The second choice is my personal favorite is this one that is actually the grapes are carved. It's really chunky glass. And then the top, this piece right here is like ceramic. And it's painted ceramic with the grapes on top. Um, and then the bottom right here is it sits on top of cork. Really nice bottle. These are big too. And then for your third choice, I know you guys have seen this one too, is the pink glass with the rubber stopper. Um, so um, these are three bottles, guys, that you could put different things in. Um, you could put um, oils in there, maybe some garlic oils. Uh, balsamic vinegar, I don't know. Uh, 
you could put uh, hey you could put bath oil like what was in that avon uh or you could make your own wine hey so there's three choices if anybody's interested uh this was choice one for the clear the grapes choice two was grapes also seems to be a theme uh but this is the chunky style and then the third choice was the uh like hobnail style pink so if anybody's interested in any one of those let me know and that is my third Oh my gosh, Sandra, sorry. <laughs> I have a cell phone mute. I'm glad you got it taken care of. And yeah. that would be kind of cool to see. All right, so this we're going to start it out at three bucks. I know I should go a lot higher, but when I get deals, I pass the deals on to you guys. I have a Ninja. It's a plush. It is a Ninja WCT. I'll show you the tag. Oh, maybe. There It is from, I don't see a year on it. But it says all new material, so I don't know. Um, give it some time, Stephen, because Ohio's been having some problems with their postal services, and yours has been shipped out. So, there's that one. Then we have this. Fuzzy, squishy, kind of squishy little thingy. So there's a squishy plush. Still brand new. So adorable. Has this cute little arms and cute little feet. And then we have small stars, petite stars aerial ornament decoration whatever you want to use it for it's from hallmark cute little thingy there's her tag disney i'm in northeast ohio up by what the hails um, this one's a My Little Pony Cutie Cuff. Still brand new with the tag. Um, let's see what year she's from. No year. Oh, I see how it works. Her arms opens up. And then she just grabs a hold. So adorable. It's a unicorn. And then we have this cute little Lumo Stars. Kind of squishy, too. The wings are shiny. Its beak is three different colors. These are in really good condition. She actually made out pretty good. They said she didn't have no serious injuries from it other than the bruising. Yes, all for one money. And let me see. This is from 2018. Called Tactic Games Cry. Yeah, she did get it. Uh, CT scan. She's fine. And then we have one more piece for this lot. And it's another small stars, petite stars mini. Cute. So That's so cute. Brand new with the tag. And the year on this one, I am not sh for sure. Maybe it might help to read this piece. It is a Disney. So there you go. One, two, three, four, 
five and six. Mr. Uh, Sash is in at three. Do I see uh, five? Well, good for toys, but if you get to squishy here, they can go for some good money. Picky Nicky's in at five. Joy will have to come in at seven. These ones I heard go for some really decent money, as well as these ones. So, one, two, Joy's in at seven. Do I see nine? Three. This thing is so cute. I'd be so distracted with it. Playing with it. Stash is out. Cute little feet. Are you out, Sandra? Or are you in for nine? This one feels kind of cool. Not quite sure what he's made of, but he feels really cool. Maybe he is a squishy. But the tag doesn't say it, so. See if I can hold them all. <laughs> And this is a ninja. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Not you. Picky Nikki, are you out or are you in for nine? That's my bad. Because I'm going to start calling it. All right, we're going to go once to Joy for seven. Thank you, Picky Nikki, and thank you, Stash. Going twice to Joy for seven. Fair warning. We are now sold to Joy for seven. Thank you, Joy. I'll put this with your other piece. And real quick, we got a guest in the house. If she's going to show her face really quick. We have Susanna. Hi. Hi, Susanna. How are you? I'm good. And how are you? Good. Let me turn you sideways. There you go. There we go. Now you show up really good. Hey, um, how are you? Who's there? Don. Don. Don, how are you? <laughs> good. What you up to? A uh, bunch of no good. That's always good. <laughs> it is. It's fun. <laughs> um, I have like the worst time trying to get on stream. Um, it was telling me my phone wasn't supporting it or I don't, I don't know. So I had to like send a link to my iPad from my iPad back to my phone as a message. So, oh no, but you were able to get on. Thank goodness. But I was absolutely. All right. <laughs> I'm going to do my last item. And then Susanna, do you have anything you want to sell? Uh, I might, but guys, go ahead. I okay. In the background here i'll call all it right. <laughs> that works <laughs> all right all right my next piece i'm going to bring this one and it's it's not cheap the, these things are not cheap to get your hands on so starting bid on this is going to be 55 dollars It is sterling silver, tested and verified. Let's see if I can get to show up. It's kind of hard to see it. 
it's right here on the piece. Yeah. Put your hand behind it. Yeah, I'm afraid if I do that, it's not. It's not gonna show it, or I can't really point it out. But it's on these little pieces right here. And this is all tested. All of it is sterling silver, 925. These are real garnets. These are real mother of pearl. This is carnelian. And this right here is actual carved boned. So let me get you a weight on it. That's different. That's very pretty. It's unique. I love it. Yeah. It is, it is so unique. Yeah, guys, look these up. These are called Sajins, uh, where it's that face that's made out of bone. They're Sajins. And, uh, yeah, the price is you can look it up. It is 23 grams of sterling silver. It's a bone face. <laughs> that's what I say. It's a bone face. <laughs> bone face. The chain is actually a diamond cut chain. And if I'm if I am right, I think if I can recall because I measured it the other day. The chain is 18 and a half inches long. The pendant is almost three inches long. Oh yeah, that's right. It does. It's got very unique design in the head all that work so there's the front and here's the back I've never seen one with garnets it's so cool to me with the garnets and you can see the 925. Yep, right there on the back of this. But it, that doesn't matter because that doesn't mean anything. I test and verify it. You know what I love is the 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 little thing that's holding the pendant, the chain. The chain is very gorgeous. The chain, but that other little thing, what do you call that thing? That is so bail. The bail. That's the bail. Yeah, it's got a little heart. Oh my god. Right in the front or uh, in the yeah, in the front and the back there's a little yep. heart. It sure does. Okay. This piece guys is a lot of work. I mean a lot. It's a great price with all the stone. And these flowers are etched. The mother pearl is etched, carved. So you got 1 2 3 4 5 pieces of garnet. Hi, T. Hi, T. The one piece of carnelian and the two pieces of um, mother of pearl. So if there's any interest, you, I can always bring it back later. Hi, T. A poop head. <laughs> <laughs> now, I had two of these, but now I only have one left because the other one's sold. Sorry, you guys. So I'm going to bring in the rosary. I'm sorry. It's Dawn's turn. Let's let Dawn go. Oh, you ready, Don? I was sitting there just watching you. <laughs> I was like, oh, it's my turn. <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention. All right. Uh, this next piece, guys, I am going to start out at $15. Now, this is a um, gold tone chain. Um, to my knowledge, it is not anything. It's not marked. It's not real gold or anything like that. But this is a really, really thick men's necklace. And I want you to take a look at the chain. It's so well made and gorgeous beyond. It really is. This is one of those thick, thick chains. Um, I believe it's 24 inches. Let me measure it again. Now, like I said, there is no markings of it being real gold or anything like that. 22 inches, sorry. Um, like 22 inches. Yep. And it's super thick. 
It's got the uh, fold over clasp. You can see there's no um, markings on it, but this is a thick chain. For uh, you men out there that are looking for a really uh, nice chain, this is really thick, inexpensive. It's that rich, rich gold tone. Uh, I know um, Korea, usually this type of gold tone here, they usually do pieces like this really well, actually. And mm -hmm. I, I love the style of chain. Really, really nice. I hear all the time, hey, you got any men's pieces? And this is a good one, guys. $15. If you're interested, just let me know. Hey, John, uh, my John, next one. Hmm? one. Does Harry Chess come with that? <laughs> yes, it does. It actually does. <laughs> You have to shave it. Uh, I mean, that's the, that's on you to do the shaving. That's <laughs> that uh, the shaving doesn't. Uh, I, I don't include that. That's up to you. <laughs> I'll leave that alone. Okay, this next one, guys, is sterling, and oh man, it's nice all the way around. We are going to start out at fifty-five, but you will see why I. You will see. This is nice. So I'll be right back. Show like two or three more pieces. I'll be right back. Okay. Uh, this one is 40 inches, guys. 40 inches long, the sterling chain. And it is a Rolo chain. I know. Uh, you do not see a 40-inch Rolo chain every day. But you're going to see one now. Let's put it on here. Oh, man. Is it nice. This is starting out at $55. And we have this gorgeous uh, mother of pearl pendant with the scroll work right here. Um, this is also sterling. And on the back, you can see the 925. Uh, let me do that's this. Nice. That's a nice one. Oh, guys, take a look. This is Rolo. Now, Rolo chain is very... It's very popular. It's another, I tell you, the three most popular chains that I've seen, first and foremost is the box chain. Second is still the Figaro. And then third, but I tell you what, it could take over the Figaro because any more Rolo chains are more popular. But we are talking, first of all, 40 inches of sterling. Okay, you never, ever look online. Be my guest to look online and see if you ever find a 40-inch sterling Rolo chain. Look at how big this is. I can put over my big head. That should tell you guys right there how big we're talking. This is starting out at 55. Just for the chain alone, guys, I can tell you right now, it would be worth a lot more just for the chain. But I will show you. Uh, I'll try to show you the 925. I don't know if you can see that right there in the middle. Uh, now, I did not clean the back. That's why you're not going to see. Um, how much is it in weight? I'm sorry. Let me weigh it for you. I know it's pretty lightweight. Let me uh, weigh it, though, right now. This is six grams, Stash. Six grams. So it is not that much um, in weight. Like I said, uh, you guys can. not I'll show you the. 925 on the little uh, lobster claw. It's on the little lever. Uh, you're not going to see it, are you? But it's on the little lever pull. And like I said, 40 inches. Um, you guys can definitely look it up. Um, like I said, this is starting out at 55. Uh, like I said, have fun trying to find that long of a rollo chain this is a lightweight one too this is not heavy at all so it's not going to be cumbersome to those of you that don't like those heavy chains but that's that one okay so that one's 55 and then let's go um where's that here it is i have now this is a different item this is not jewelry related but i do want to show it to you um I have, these are, like I said, it is six grams of silver total. 
This one is going to be a buy it now, guys. And I'm going to do these tonight. I'm going to run a special. The weight on it was six grams on the necklace. Six grams on this necklace. Yeah. It's really lightweight. And uh, like I said, it, it finding that long of a chain, you seen it fits over my head just like that. You never, ever, what's nice about it, you don't have to worry about a dumb clasp. You just throw it over your head and say, I'm done. That's it. Walk out the door, you know. Um, I am going to do a special tonight on these boxes, guys. I think I have like at least 10 boxes left. Uh, the special tonight is buy it now for six. And these are on the vinyl exam gloves, powder free, uh, non sterile, 100 gloves, size large. And we're going to do them for six bucks a box, guys. This is a double box. You know, when you go to Walmart or Meyer, uh, they have the 50 count for whatever the price is. Six dollars. I have at least, I think, 10 boxes. Now, I had to tape them. As you can tell, some of them, not all of them. So I have, this is the McKesson brand. I also have uh, this brand here, which is Medline. And it's the same powder-free vinyl, size large, 100. Like I said, most of them, the, the, it was just the box that was kind of damaged or whatever. Six dollars a box, guys. Really, really great deal if anybody's interested. Okay, so I have like 10 boxes of these, and then uh, you guys know I have my natural soaps, uh, they are gonna be buy it now for six as well. Each, each uh, bar soap, and uh, these are my all natural soaps uh, that I sell that come from um, Australia and. I'll tell you the different scents. Uh, this is from the Australian soap company called Bella, B-E-L-A. You can look it up. Uh, they make their soaps um, out of all natural plants and herbs and fruit extracts and oils. Uh, they are non-paraben, non-petrochemical. Uh, they are SLL, SLSs. Free, which is the sodium laurate sulfates. Um, you find those in detergents. Um, so it's free from all the toxins like that. And it's made uh, with goat's milk and stuff like that. So this is the gardenia. Um, and you guys tell me how many you want and of what scent. Because they're $6 a piece. And they are 3.5 ounces in weight. Um, I have the lilac. And I'm telling you, it smells like a lilac bush. It really does. I have uh, lavender. I have extra creamy goat's milk. There's the lavender. Of course, it's lavender color. Extra creamy goat's milk, which is the uh, off-white. Um, I have the pomegranate. Uh, also, another red one that looks like this I, is the strawberry melon. Um, I have the one that's berry crushed. This one they actually stamped. Um, yeah, pure plant oil. So, um, like, like I said, very, very good. I can get a hold of peach. I can get a hold of uh, patchouli. I can get a hold of um, almond. So, if anybody is interested, please let me know. Um, really, really good soaps and. Uh, they are safe not only for your body but your hair as well because it's pure plant oil. And I will tell you that, uh, oh, you want the lilac and the patchouli? Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Sandra. Um, because they're made out of plant oil, if you do use it for your hair because you can, um, believe it or not, um, it can make your hair grow because natural plant oil some of them not all of them can make your hair grow so that's just a little something these soaps like i said when i found them i fell in love and i thought i want all my friends to know about these soaps because it's great 
Okay, so one lilac and one patchouli. Thank you, thank you. I, you even spelled it right. That's awesome. I could not spell that word patchouli to save my life. I was like, how do you spell it? I kept looking at it and I'm like, man, that... <laughs> That's a mouthful. All right. So there's that. I'm back. And you're back? Okay. Yeah. I just got finished with my soaps and that, so we can turn it back to you. All right. Thank you, Sandra. Oh, two lilac. Okay. You want two lilac and one patchouli, right? Okay. Yeah, right. I love the lilac, too. It's awesome. Starting bid on this is going to be 20 bucks. It is. Oh, Elvis Presley. This is the box. It is matchbox.com and Mattel together. It is a signature product. Um, there's a uh, private jet collection. These are metal die cast. It's never been opened. And I don't know the year. 2003, so two years away from being vintage. So there you go. Do your comps on that one. If no interest, we'll go ahead and pass it. I can always bring it back later. The next one starting bid is going to be 15. Oh, wait, we got Picky Nikki in at 20. Do I see 22? See the planes up close. There's a little bit of scuffing right here on the plastic, but that's common with age. Elvis sign right there. Elvis sign right there. Highly collectible. So we have Picky Nikki in at 20. Do I see 22? I showed you the sides. That's kind of cool. And there's your year. If there is no other interest, I am going to start calling it going once to pick a Nikki for uh, 20. Thank you, Picky Nikki. Going twice. Fair warning. We are now sold to Picky Nikki for 20. Awesome bye, Picky Nikki. That here. The next one is another piece that's really cool. And we're going to start it out at 15. This is the Elvis Favorite Cars Collection, again, by Matchbox Collectibles. It's for adult collectors, so you can't be under the age of 12. Sorry. It's an EP25. It's not showing up. It's legendary. The other one, I believe, was the same. Nope. This one's actually a limited edition. There's all his little cool cars that he loved. 
the pink Cadillac, the blue Cadillac. Don't ask me what the red one was. I have no idea. <laughs> Here's you can't one. be under 12? Oh, darn. Yep, sorry. This one is well, that vintage. me out. <laughs> I know, it kicked me out, too. So, back it up here. Now, from storage, it does have, like, maybe they had other cards set up on top of it. So, a little dent right here, but nothing major. So, $15 to start on that. Um, Sandra's asking, Susanna, what that is. Oh, it's, um, what do you call it? The, um, yeah. It's for your journaling, you know, your cardstock. It's specialty papers, different designs. They're actually pretty cool. So if you're like trying to make your own journal, you right. can cut them up and, and make any designs out of them. So if there's no interest, I'm going to go ahead and pass this piece. I can always bring it back later. And then for the last piece, which I have to wait really quick, this is not cheap. Just so you guys know. That's not right. It is 12 grams of sterling silver. It is 36 inches long. It has really cool design in the chain. As soon as I can get it untangled here, give me a second. There we go. So the lobster claw clasp is what that what it has. And I can't get the stupid thing to focus. And the starting bid on this is actually going to be. Ah, can't even type. Have to start it out at 50. 925 is actually written on the lobster claw itself. Right in this little part. Right there. Got it touching. It is a rouleau chain style. Then it comes down into individually cut, diamond cut little beads. And then this thing actually really shines. There you go. Now you can see the cut. Every single one of those beads on here are cut like that. Then you have the ZZ's Pave um, balls. Then back into more diamond cut balls. And then another ZZ ball on both sides. It goes like, th like that. Then you go back into the diamond cut sterling silver. And then you have a little bit bigger. Mother Mary or St. Christopher. I'm not sure which one that is. Then you have another pave ball with ZZs on it. This actually has ZZs on it too. Some more diamond cut. Another pave. And then a cross with um, ZZs on it. I had two of these the other day, and one of them had diamonds in it. <laughs> it sold. But as quick as I listed it. This one I didn't get a chance to list yet. And then I'll show you the back of it. It's quality. Because it's open to show the ZZs in the back. So it can breathe. So $50 start on this. 36 inches, 11 grams. Get it to turn around. If there's no interest, I'm going to go ahead and move it along. All right, are you ready? 
Susanna, Penny saying the journal or supplies. Do you want to come on? No, because it doesn't seem like anyone. Um, they're, um, they're supplies. Yeah, this is a rosary. It's 925 sterling silver, tested and verified. Every single bit of it was tested to be sure. So, it has little Jesus on the cross. All right, are you ready, Dawn? Yes. All right. All right, guys. Um, this next one is going to start out at 10. And what it is, is a little heart soapstone uh, trinket box. And the inlay is all painted except for the white pieces, which are little pieces of mother of pearl. The rest of it is just paint. Um, so it is made out of soapstone. Here's the lid. And it's a green soapstone. And it is scalloped on the outside. It is not marked. It's such an awesome stone. I love uh, soapstone. I do want to show you the edge of the one piece right there. There's a little bit of a nick. So I want everybody to see that. Uh, but other than that, it's in really good condition everywhere else but that spot. Uh, the spot right here on the side, um, that's just the way the stone, it was like lifted right there, but it wasn't broken or nothing. It's just the way that it was. But there is a little niche, a little gouge right there. Uh, so this one starts out at 10 for the little trinket box. Um, let me measure the inside because I know somebody had asked me when I showed it last time. Um, it is not quite one inch deep and like diameter to the highest point would be not quite two inches across in the diameter. Oh, awesome, Susanna. Susanna. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, honey. Well, I want to get it right because, you know, somebody's name, it, it's important. It honestly is. And people don't want to be called something wrong. Like, I don't want to be called Henrietta. <laughs> That's just an example, but I'm just saying, <laughs> you know, I don't. Okay, we're going to go on to the next. Now, this is going to be a choice of, and this is going to take me a minute, guys, to show. I'm going to go as fast as I can. But you get three different choices, guys. And it's going to be buy it now for $16 each. Now, this is per bag. And there's three bags, and uh, they have skincare and or makeup and or both in each. So I'm going to start out with the red bag. You can tell me red, silver, or canvas, okay? So the red bag has, we're going to start out with the travel size of the Estee Lauder uh, Beautiful Perfume Body Lotion. So you get that. Just a second. I got to sneeze. Okay. Bless you. Bless you. All of a sudden, I have the sneezes. I don't know what happened. So this is a bag one. Remember, or bag the red bag. Uh, the second item is the Dr. Brandt Micro Dermabrasion Age Defying Exfoliator. Wow, that's a mouthful. In the travel size, there you go. We've got a little sample of the Pore Pre um, Professional. It is a pore primer. We also have the Becca First Light Priming Filter in the box. Like travel size. And then we have 
This is a two-in-one compact mirror by Trim. We also have the Estee Lauder Pure Color Envy Sculpting Gloss. It's a lip gloss in that beautiful, uh, like, champagne-y color. That's in there. And then we also have a little sample of the Estee Lauder um, Sumptuous Bold Volume Lifting Mascara. Now, this is all in one. All those pieces are in the red, okay? So that's the red bag. Then we have the silver. The silver bag has the uh, benefit, their real uh, double the lip. It's a lipstick and lip liner all in one. And it's in that mauve color with the deep burgundy uh, liner. New in box. This is a full sample. Okay, this is a full lipstick. Okay, that's in there. Uh, we have the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the shade Crown of My Canopy. This is a full uh, compact full of highlighter. We have uh, the Amazing Cosmetics Corrector. This is a, like a concealer and it corrects your, uh, if you have dull or circles underneath the eye, it corrects that. We have two of these Garnier um, hair oils, these little samples. Uh, we also have the Vichy uh, Lift Active Retinol HA Advanced Concentrate. I believe it's like a serum or something. And then we have the um, lip stain in this like brick red color with a lip liner so you're getting all those for including the bag that's never been used you get all those and like some of three of these are actual uh full size samples in the silver bag then for the last bag we have a sample of the urban decay eyeshadow priming potion we have the uh becca skin love um sample of foundation we have the Terra beauty bars rose clay dry mask that's in there we have this r plus co um high dive moisture and shine cream I believe, is this for the hair? Yeah, this is for the hair. So it's not just skincare and makeup. It's, we've got this um, leave in conditioner by Trisola. So like a travel size, good size. And then we have um, the shampoo and conditioner samples from Clairol, the hair food. That's all in there. So that's in that one. So there's some for your hair and your skin, which is always nice. Oh, and then I had um, a little bottle of the Temp2 uh, Base Smooth and Matte Primer. It's for your face to go underneath your, um, oh, your foundation. So that's all in that one. So, and that says it's a Becca bag. So if anybody's interested in one of those three bags, like I said, they are $16 each. Just tell me what color bag you want. It can come your way. And then I got one more to show you. Uh, let's do, I'm gonna do this set again. I'm gonna start this one out at, um, 25 and it's a stone necklace and earring set and this is a uh, black onyx and um, Dalmatian Jasper and so this necklace it's real real chunky you got the uh, chunky like big faceted beads of the the onyx and then you've got this Dalmatian Jasper chips in between. 
really, really chunky, but really, really nice. Um, you have a little bit of an extension right there. I don't believe it's sterling. Um, I mean, you could test it and see, but I don't believe it is. And these are the earrings, perfect match that go with it. I will, I'll just put it on the board so you can actually see them all together there. There we go. It looks really, really nice, guys. If you're into that type of Jasper, $25 for the whole set. Like I said, I am not sure if the findings on this are sterling. I didn't check, uh, but it's a lot of stone. I'm going to weigh it real quick in grams for like both, both pieces. Okay. I know it's not sterling, but I'm just going to weigh it in grams. Um, it is 112 grams. And obviously that's mostly stone. So if anybody's interested in that uh, set, just let me know and we can move on. Are you ready? Are you ready? Hi. Hi. That's my hand. <laughs> okay. Hi, everyone. So what I have here is I was going to start doing junk journaling, but you know how that goes, you know. One thing happens and then the other thing happens and my hair is a mess. All right. So what I have is cardstock paper and I have one, two, three, four, four of these here and they're all acid free and it comes with beautiful different designs. These are 12 by 12 sheets. You got the gold in there and you can make beautiful cards with these or if you're doing junk journaling, cut them up really really nice and I'm trying to show you the different um do it that way oh what happened <laughs> oh no there's two to every uh design there's that one look at that that's pretty all right, hold on one second. I, I got something, somebody I need to bring up on the screen. Are you guys ready? I'm, I'm ready. ready. Carol! <laughs> Carol! Carol! Oh, my gosh. Yay! Oh, my goodness. Aww. Aww. Good to go. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm going to kiss it boo-boo better. You're muted. I think yeah, you're muted, girl. Hear you. Hmm. Go into your settings. Go to your microphone. Is that up? No. Yep. Oh. Try again. Okay, well it did. Yes, we can hear yes. you. Yes, we can Yay. hear you. Yay. I wanted to come in and thank everyone for well wishes. Oh. Um, it's so it's great so seeing you, Carol. It's been rough, but. We miss you. Thank you. I'm about ready to come back. Yes! <laughs> yay, yay, right, yay. yay. I, I would have been back yesterday on Sunday fun day, but unfortunately, the doc, everybody talked to me into going to get a CAT scan, and I'm glad I did because I would have freaked out this morning seeing my eye the way that it is and not have had a CAT scan, I would have thought, oh my God, I've got a brain hemorrhage. And... But. Oh, I'm so, so glad to see you back. Thank you. I thought, well, let me see if I can do a debut here with Dolly and Dawn and Susanna. Yes. She told me to come on. <laughs> yep, I sure did. Uh, everybody's happy to see you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. It's been a long time coming it's been a rough road but 
obviously since Friday when I did an ass over tea kettle over some grocery bags. <laughs> Carol, you would think, do that. Like, like Deborah said to me in an email, I didn't have flotation bites to stop me from falling. <laughs> oh, geez. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah it was only just up in the head yeah well they ain't nothing so there. bad enough so bad enough carol yeah that that's a pretty that's a pretty hard fall yeah but then this afternoon it was over the eye and now it's like encompassing the whole eye so well at least you're okay that's the the main thing right so yeah I mean, it hurts, but I put a tea bag on it today. <laughs> I thought you were going to say you put a stick on it. <laughs> we put a tea bag. They say put tea bags over bruises. Carol, Carol, you got tea bag today? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Am I missing something? Want to explain that? <laughs> no, we can't explain that on on here. No. <laughs> not on here <laughs> so but yeah, this, this is what happened since Friday and I really had planned on being on Sunday and it's just been one thing after another and I, I thought well if I'm going to come on any channel it's going to be this one so Aww, awesome. Aww. thank you Carol I wanted to say hi to everybody. I've been reading your messages. Um, I've, I've been in some chat rooms um, and seeing people say, is Carol ever coming back? And <laughs> no, she's hiding. <laughs> yeah, I went into hibernate. Well, you know, that damn groundhog, I followed him into his hole. <laughs> you should have done that, Carol. <laughs> That's funny. But yeah, it's, Thank God it's, uh, thank you everyone. Thank you for all of your well wishes and your prayers. And uh, I tell you, if 2021 is going to be worse than 2020, I'm going back in the hole with the groundhog. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you can't do that. No. But yeah, I really, really wanted to, to come back, but. I, I felt bad that poor Debbie and Max were all alone and but you know couldn't can't help Brandon being sick and I did watch from from the hospital ER <laughs> <I was laughs> losing my battery and then I found a plug so I plugged it in and but yeah. Oh Tina's gonna be so happy that you came on. Yeah, I watched her video. Wow. Wow. Yeah, wow. <laughs> but you know what? She nailed it. Yep. yep. <laughs> she did. She nailed it. Yep. But I'm going to go back to bed. <gasps> no. <laughs> well, I'm gonna, I've been resting <laughs> all day. You've been resting for two weeks. The hell? You don't need any more rest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fine. Everyone. Sorry, right, Carol. You can't go to bed. Stay with us. Yeah. We just got you, Carol. You're not leaving. No, you stay right there. You're gonna you make yourself out. I put a one in the chat. Hold on. Do all my ones count? No. Yeah, all of them count. <laughs> There's my ones. Oh. <laughs> put some meat on it. See, everybody wants like, you to stay. I, Look, I could put an <laughs> eye patch. But then, like I told Susanna, I'd look like one-eyed Pete. And, of course, you know what had happened? Zoom! I'm not used to one-eyed Pete's. It's been centuries. So, zoom! I had no clue. <laughs> look, look at, at the all the chat, Carol. See? See, look at the chat, Carol. They all want I you know, to say. I see it. <laughs> I see it. Pirate Carol. That's Pirate what Carol, on. yeah. Hi, mateys. <laughs> I still can see you doing that. <laughs> yeah, I'm supposed to go tomorrow to the COVID testing site. And I think I'm just going to sit back. We've got two nurses from the the, uh, the college, two nursing students that are going to come. And I said, I'm just going to let them 
let them do what they have to do and let them do all the work because I'm too old for this shit. You know, it's like, okay, now I need a walker. And then I had a friend say she's going to wrap, wrap me in bubble wrap. I said, no, I'm claustrophobic. You should have seen me <laughs> in the cat scan, even though it's that stupid little donut that's not very wide. I'm, I'm closing my eyes saying, don't open your eyes. Don't you open your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll just get you an airbag, Carol. You'll be good. Yeah, I need airbags for these things. <laughs> <laughs> Huh. No. Look out, Dolly Parton. Here I come. <laughs> Those are flotation devices. <laughs> yeah, you're right. They're flotation. They don't, I expected them to, to be in dry, the way, you know. No, on dry land, they do nothing. Yeah. <laughs> they just kind of hang out and that's it. <laughs> oh, they were hanging out all right. Look at Lisa <laughs> laughing. Lisa, I've got to know do you have water? Oh, that's right. Today they were going to come out. Yeah, Lisa, Lisa, let us know. Um, it was either the part came in yesterday and they were going to do it tomorrow? Today they were supposed to. I think today they were supposed yeah. to come. Um, well, they gave me a volume. Two minutes, not even two minutes before I went in the cat scan. What the hell is that going to do? Two minutes. <laughs> and I'll tell you, when you're inside the MRI and the cat scan machine, and you have your eyes closed. And I was telling Carol, there's this little person on the other side of your shoulder saying, go ahead, just open your eyes, just open. And then the other person on the other shoulder saying, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Don't open them. Oh, awesome. She's going to have water tomorrow. It should be tomorrow. Awesome. Awesome. Good. Good. Yeah, I, they had me hold my hands, and all I kept thinking is because they had Steve had to drop me off and go home, and I'm holding my hand, thinking, okay, Steve, this is this other one is your hand, and you're holding me tight because because you're making me feel secure. It's like he it was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I, as I'm going in, I'm saying to her, you know, I'm claustrophobic. <laughs> well, at least no nurses died, and you got through the cat skin very well because you're still here <laughs> yeah oh but i did want to come in and say thank you so much to everyone it's been a rough road but i'm back you're back yay I'm back. yeah and you're not going nowhere you're staying right there you're not going to bed that bed has seen you more than <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> by now it has a sink in it, a sinkhole, <laughs> like the driveway, a sinkhole. <laughs> All right, we're going to go back to Susanna and Carol. You can hang out in the back. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we did, we did this book. And then my next one, this is actually really, really pretty. It's Paisley paper, as you can see. Oh, I'm sorry. This is all starting out at 25 for everything that I'm going to show you. It's starting at 25. And look at that. Oh, that's cool. Isn't it beautiful? You know what I've done with these two? I've cut these into um, like little squares. And you know how um, you put little earrings on it so you can send it away to your customer? Yes, that's what I use my cardstock for. Yep. Exactly. So you have that one. Um, this one is the black, but it has different color. It's got green and red in there. Um, look at this one. That one's so pretty. Um, that one is beautiful too. Oh yeah. That is so pretty. Uh, let's see what other colors we got it in a mauve color. Purple, greens, aqua green, I should say. Uh, what else? What else? And the other side of these are a solid color as well. So they're double-sided. What other one do I have here? Those are so pretty. Look at the blue one. Oh, that's oh, pretty. Oh, that's pretty. I like that Isn't one. That beautiful? Yeah. That one is absolutely beautiful. That's one of my favorites. And the back on that one is the 
I don't know what's wrong with my coloring here, but but it's see it? It's got that aqua color turquoise. Oh yeah. Um you got this one. They're really, really pretty. It does. It it is a thick book. The paper is pretty thick too on this one. It's showing it's a hundred and eighty gram heavy weight. Yep. And they're all and again it's acid free. Look at that pretty design. Oh nice. wow. Yep. And then you got that one in the orange, so pretty. And then you have this one here. This one is about that thick because I've used some on this one. And this one's also double sided. That's pretty. They are. They're really, really pretty. Um, that one too. All right. Yes, Perlini, they are expensive. If yeah, they, they are. Yeah. I just bought some cardstock and they are, I just bought it like three weeks ago. They are. Look at that one, the yellow with the butterflies. Oh, that's pretty. It's the back on that one and then it's different on that side. So basically. Penny wants to know how many books total. I have one, two, three, four. I have four books, and then this one has, uh, this one's more in the purple tones. And oh, wow, that's awesome. The chrome. Yep. And there's some that you can cut the strips with sayings on it. Uh, let's see. That's it's well awesome. worth it. It is, and it's thick paper. It's not flimsy. This one's not a double-sided. This is just a one-sided. Uh, let's see. Uh, that's a beautiful design. It is. Oh my gosh. It looks like one of my paintings. <laughs> and you do some beautiful paintings. Thank you. And then that one's really nice as well. See that one? When the light hits it, it gives you like a rainbow on there. And then you get some little strips that I've cut out on that. And there's some loose papers as well. Um, beautiful blue. And these are all 12 by 12s. You're right, Perlini. They're about seven to $8 a sheet. What is it? They go for about seven to eight dollars. Oh, yeah. Yep. This one is so cool. This one, these are recipe cards. Look at that. Oh, that's oh. awesome. Yep. See what I've done, I want to show you. What I've done was I used to make books out of um cod stock and paper bags. As you can see, this is a paper bag. And I just took off the, the little uh, things here and just glued them on to the other side. And I make these little books. Oh, that is so cute. And this is cardstock with tissue paper on it. And I just put a little ribbon through it. And then I was going to fill this up with pages. So that's how you that is a cute idea. Yep. It, oh, yeah. I would keep the handles on it. Oh, my gosh. Look how cute that is. That is. And I used to make these and I used to sell these for like $75 each because. Oh, geez. Yeah, wow. They're very, they're very time consuming. Oh, yeah. I bet. A lot of detail goes into it. Yeah. Wes. I see Susanna. Hi, Diamond. I, I love my Diamond. <laughs> <laughs> He's so adorable. So you got that one, you got this one too, Paisley. I love this one. And the back of it is that. 
So if you're not crazy about one side, you have the other side. Susanna, she, she's asking you if you still sell those. Like the book that you I can do a special order for someone, but do I just go ahead and just do it? No, between my painting and, and all of that, I don't have time. But if somebody wants a special one, absolutely. And then some. what I used to do with special orders was people would send me um, uh, photos of their family or whoever they were giving it to, or if it was themselves, I would incorporate the uh, photo into the book itself, almost like making a story. And I'll show you, I used to, and I'll send this too with the book. Oh, 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 okay. I see what she's saying. She's asking if that paper stock that you got is still sell, if they still sell on eBay or Etsy. Yes, they do. Yeah. Quite a bit. They, they do. And these here, when I used to make my books, I used to, um, these are little, um, like the little recipe cards. I dyed them myself. I tea dyed them and then I would put some different color glitter on it. I don't think it's not coming up with that. But these are all done by me. And then I take tissue paper and I coffee dye it. So, oh, that's awesome. So what I would do is make a book and then I would add these pages in the book like that. And then I would add you know, little different card stocks in here or different papers and um, make little pockets. So you'd have like a little tag inside. That Very so vintage. Cute. Yeah, I love the vintage, absolutely. Mm -hmm. But these are all papers that I have dyed. It gives you that coffee or the, the tea color. And then some of them have different designs. I love the way that paper turned out. It's awesome. Yeah. Now these papers itself, I I can also sell these separately. As long as someone wants them, they can um, get a hold of me and say that they, you know, they want some, and I will send you out a box of uh, dyed papers, surprise colors. Yeah. And this is really nice, even if you have you're writing a note to someone and you put the paper inside because the noise. Is amazing and then I also have embossing is this all part of that lot is this separate no it's all part of the lot of 25 start that's well worth the 25 and then some oh my Eight gosh pieces. yeah yes absolutely they are that Come on, Penny, jump at it. Don't you let that go. I know that's just right up your alley. You know you want it. <laughs> <laughs> and then I have four, uh, three of these, which are the uh, Design of Fabric Prop It. It's a sticker. So explain to her what embossing is. Embossing is if you... Some people get a machine and it's called the embossing machine and you put this inside and you put paper, this in between paper, and then you run it through a machine and then what happens is whatever the pattern is on here comes across here. So you know when you're at, um, you know, you're buying a card and it looks like the paper is raised, that's what this, that's what does that effect is these embossings. So, but if you don't have a machine, what I do, what I did was I used to take a rolling pin, a baker's rolling pin, and I would just put all my strength on it and just roll it. And that's how you get that embossing effect. Penny, yes, this can be shipped media mail. Yeah. Yes, it can be shipped media mail, even better. Yes, because all, all it is is paper and it's not advertising. So, yes. Mm -hmm. And you got washi tape as well. Oh, nice. I have so much. But this is all I have. That is so worth the 25. All right, I'm going in at 25. I'm not waiting any longer. Well, you're late. Because Penny's <laughs> in at 25. <laughs> I just went in. 
All right, well, I'm going 26 then. <laughs> and you got calendar papers as well that you can use. Oh, wow. A page in a book. Oh, my word. Yeah. See? You know how that's that, a good idea. You know how that they're selling right now the uh envelopes with calendar? You can make oh, yeah. So you're doing your envelope like that. I'm giving a, a quick PK. PK is product knowledge. I'm sure some well, I will I will go out, Penny. And oh man, this is a great deal. This is good, guys. I'm telling you. And what you would do is just glue this side here to this side here. You could even turn this to give you more of a heavy strength on that little piece. I mean, I'm doing it fast, but this would be your, you could do a mailer envelope, a special note to someone that loves the woods camping. Penny wants to know if you have any stamps. Oh my God, I have so much stamps. So many stamps. Penny, you want stamps? I'll give you stamps. <laughs> I'll show you stamps. So anyone coming in at um, 28? And you have a calendar of the tiger that you can make it. That's awesome. Look at that. They're beautiful. Just think okay. you can take old calendars with pictures on them, what you can do with them. Yeah, absolutely. And I'll put them all in the binder here. A plastic binder for you as well. Wow. I just want to like get rid of some of the stuff that I have so I can get other stuff. <laughs> okay, Penny Day, we were in at 27. Anyone for 28 going once? Twenty-eight going twice. Twenty-eight going three times. We're sold. <laughs> sold to Penny Day. Congrats, Penny. Awesome, awesome lot. Oh my God. All right. Is that it for you? Or did you have anything more? Well, um, because I get, I'll get the stamps to show as well. But if somebody else wants to go, that's fine. I just got to get them down from the closet. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Penny. <laughs> Give me a second here. All right. So I have some Elvis calendars. Give me a second. Can't type. Carol got me all discombobulated. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> See that? I'm back two minutes and I'm already starting trouble. <laughs> I know, Carol. You just can't get away from it. <laughs> That's my middle name, trouble. <laughs> and we're going to start this out at five bucks. So we have the first one that has a bonus. Downloadable wallpaper. It has the signature authenticity sticker. It is from Mead 2005. Vintage calendars are worth some good money or even older calendars because they can always, always be reused. This one is a generic version of it, but it's still a collectible piece. And then this one is opened. Again, it has the um, signature sticker. The Worthmere, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, collection, Wertheimer. And this one's from 2017. Oh, that's you, Penny. Um, let's see if I can show you. Here's some of the pictures that's in this calendar. These are really cool pieces. 
again, some of the pictures that are in this calendar. And some pictures that are in this calendar. Two of them are unopened. So, and this one is by me as well. So, yeah, well, these are actually collector pieces. So, you don't want to write on these. Um, there's absolutely no writing in the open one. Some really cool pictures. So $5 starts this. There's only three that I have. And you may never run across these again. Especially in their condition. And if there is no interest, I will go ahead and pass them. You can always get a hold of me later. The next piece, are you guys ready? Because this one's going to start out at 30. And these go for good money. So it's called the Elvis Presley Collection, celebrating his years of service in the United States Army. Elvis the Army Years, second in the series, classic edition. It is a doll. Dolly, Penny said five. Oh. oh, I didn't see that. Thank you, Carol. So Carol's in at five? Not me, Penny. Sorry, Penny. Oh, my gosh. And Mr. Statch said it. <laughs> <laughs> well, wait, why do you? <laughs> oh, I, didn't, I, I thought I didn't think that was a bid. Oh, my gosh. I am so sorry, Penny. If there is no other interest, I am looking for seven. That's five dollars each or five for the whole lot. lot. For the whole lot. Wow. Because these are only three I have. So no other interest. I'm gonna call it going once. Looking for seven. Going twice. Fair warning. The calendars are sold to Penny for seven. Oh so five. Sorry. My gosh. Gee, and I'm the one with the eye problem. <laughs> All right. All right, Stash. Yeah, just don't call him Mr. Just call him Stash. All right. Okay, so this Stash. one is $30. This one he has, he's so cute. He's in his military uniform. Oh Down God. to the last detail, his hat and everything is lifelike. His bag is right there. His that shoes. Awesome. And he is from I don't see a year on him. Oh, because I'm looking in the wrong spot. He's vintage. Yeah, Dolly got her nails done. Where's it at? Show up. Right there, 1999. There's his top. There's his bottom. Um he is Mattel. He does have his sticker. Yeah, my son thought I was nuts for the same reason I don't open stuff. If it's not open, I leave it alone. So there's his sticker. There's Mattel. <laughs> I know, and my nails have been bad lately. <laughs> 
Look at his cute little dog tag. And then there's his hat. Dear comp, he goes for some good money. Did you get these out of a locker? It came, I happened to be at the right place at the right time when somebody brought something into a flea market and I got it for a huge deal. Wow. That is awesome. So I'm bringing them for a huge deal. All right, we'll pass this one along. If there's any interest, I can always bring it back. Had another piece. Where'd it go? All right, this one is starting out at $5. Couldn't find no comps on it, so if it's going for a lot of money, it's okay because it didn't come with a box. So here's the piece. It is a gel house rock. It looks like just like the set. It is by Matchbox. It is, I don't, oh, it is vintage. <laughs> Matchbox plug pool. <laughs> Mr. Stash is in at five. Dolly, that card changes. Wait, what? The card inside, it changes. It's got that. Oh, it does. Oh, oh that's hologram. cool. That is so cool. I didn't even notice that. Thanks. So Stash is in at five. Picking Nikki in at seven. Stash in at ten. This is a really cool piece. There's your date, 2001. Picking Nikki is out. What do they call that again? I forget what they call that. I know. I'm trying to think of it. Hologram? Huh? A hologram. hologram. But it, okay. it, it's another name to it because that one has how many different positions? One, two, three. A hologram does twice. The third, there's a third one, a name for the third. Yeah, I think it starts with an I. Lenticular. Thank you, Stash. Paul said it the other day, yeah. <laughs> That's right. I, I couldn't think of it for the life of me. Thank All right, you. we're like We're going to go once to stash for five, uh, 10, sorry. I thought it started with an I, but I guess I was wrong. I guess that must be the um, number right there. How many they made? Not many. Going twice. Anyone else for 12 before I call it? Fair warning. And we are now sold to stash for 10. Uh, yeah, 10. Oh my gosh. Congrats, stash. That's a good buy. It was an ox. Excellent buy because he could probably put his own price on it and get the money for it. <laughs> Let me write this down real quick. And thank you, Picky Nikki, for your bid. All right, one more piece. I'm going to start this out at five bucks as well. Um, you know, there's some wine in the kitchen. I, I, I just can't answer that one. <laughs> All right. So here's the back of it. Cute little purse. It's a little dirty right here, which is probably easy to clean up because it doesn't look like stains. It just looks like dirt. And on the front, Elvis Presley by his plane. On top, it has this nice little strap here. A little wore out. Not, I mean, not to where it's like, it's just um, marks from being bent. And then on the inside, nice and clean. And on the other inside, nice and clean. 
Nikki Nikki is in at five. Do I see seven? Cute little purse. Zippers work nice. Well, I don't think that's a motorcycle. It's, it, he's uh, he's in his military uniform. Oh, no, you're right. Motorcycle. Sorry, Stash. Now that I see the handle better. This can be easily come off with, uh, like, a little wipe or something. So. Anyone else before I call it? Going once. To picky Nikki for five. I don't know if there's a name brand on this or not. I think I seen a tag in one of these pockets. It says Elvis. So this must be another one of his authentic pieces from his, from his um product lines. So there you go. Going twice. Fair warning. We are now sold to Picky Nikki for five. All right, Don, are you ready? Thank you, Picky Nikki. Are you hanging in there, Carol? I'm hanging in here. Don't leave. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding? I don't want the wrath of Susanna. No, I'll just go across the bridge and go kick your butt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> she might like that. Yeah, <laughs> okay, like this, this one. <laughs> this one is a size large. It is by Alfani, and it is a black and white blouse. Uh, it's got the skinnier sleeves. It's made. Uh, oversized. It's got the scalloped bottom. And this one's starting out at five, if anybody's interested. Uh, I will say, um, if you are an extra large to a 1X, you would also be able to wear this blouse. I just want to point that out. And also, it is a little bit sheer. So this one's starting out at five. So anywhere from large to one X, you would be able to wear this. But if you want measurements, just let me know. So these next ones are, I believe, all black and white. I don't know. I just grabbed the lot. Uh, this one is size one X. We're going to start it out at five as well. Uh, this is by Siren Lily Women. And this definitely is a sheer top. This is collared, uh, buttoned down. It's got the uh, breast pocket right there. But really, really cute. Uh, the sleeves do roll up and button. So you could wear this as a cardigan. Or you could, you know, um, put a tank underneath button it up leave it open lots of uh different variables i think what would look nice is this is a cardigan and put a solid color that's totally different underneath like a yellow or you know a red or something that would look really really nice hi, Amy. hi. oh thank you thank you so much i actually got this top from april <laughs> Uh, I buy some of her clothes and, and that I like for myself. That's what I do. <laughs> uh, this next one is a polka dot one. It's a size large. We're going to start it out at five as well. Right here, this one is by George, George Stretch. Um, and this is one of those drapey style um, shirts. Trying to get it right here so the neckline it's all draped 
cute. I would say just for the style of this one, this is definitely petite. So a large petite. Uh, the sides of it are rouged like that. So they'll uh, shape you in, cinch you in there. Um, this is actually a really nice blouse. That's and perfect. like I said, it's it's straight. It keeps coming off this hanger. This is not the hanger <laughs> to have. You really need another hanger. Um, but yeah, it's coming right off. <laughs> I can't keep it on here. Sad but true. Well, if I get this back on here. It's just not staying good on the hanger, guys. It doesn't look bad at all. It's really, really nice. Mm -hmm. There. I'll hold it together if I can. But that's what that one looks like. And if anybody's interested, let me know on any one of those. And that is my three. Susanna, do you have anything more? I do. I do. All right. Hi. I have a Victoria's Secret bag. It is a, I would say a crossbody because it is very, very long. And it's never been um, used. It's going for $7. And there's your Victoria's Secret uh, logo. Right there. It is brand new. Opens up nicely. Oh, it still has the little pouch inside. And then it does have a zipper on the inside that you can hold your millions. I don't know what's up. It looks so foggy in here. The, um, the chain itself is so heavy, like seriously heavy, as you can hear. And it is going for $7. The zipper works. This is your bottom of it. It is a silver tone. A loop there. Open and close. Like I said, it is a Victoria's Secret. Never used. Still has a little plastic on the chain as it goes down. It is a gold tone chain, but a silver purse. So you have be great if you have say silver earrings and a gold necklace or a silver bangle or a gold bangle your mix match i do believe i don't know if that's like snake skin looking like the print of it it is kind of like a snake skin print yes yeah. yeah any interest again it is a Victoria's Secret. There's your little loco right there. That's about the size of it. Because you know, you need the head measurement. I guess we have no interest in this one. I don't know if Penny, Penny Day, are you back? Write it in the chat if you're back so I can show you the stamps. She said that she was stepping away. What does it look like on the inside? Hot Mess is asking. Oh, well, you're seeing that faster than I am. It is a solid black, I believe. Yep, a solid black. With a zipper pocket right here. My lighting is not good today. No, no, no. Mm 
what is the starting bid on it? Seven. Seven dollars. Seven dollars. Hi, Sky Watcher. How's the Hot sky doing? Hot mess is in at seven. Do I see nine? That's a cute little purse. It is really cute. Yep. So we're going once to Amy. Twice to Amy. Three times. And we are sold. Sold. Thank you, Amy. Is that it for you? Um, is Penny Day back? I don't see her back. Okay. I'll wait until she comes back. I just don't want to go ahead and show it if no one else is interested, if she's going to be the only one that's going to be interested in it. Okay, I'll go ahead and go to me and she comes back. We'll go back to you. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Oh, and I just put everybody up. <laughs> All right, so I have a collection of really cool books here and we are going to start it. Hold on. At 30 bucks. The first one is an Elvis album book. Still in really great condition, almost like it's brand new. Um, I don't see a year on it, so give me a second. It is a commemorative, commemorative. It's it's vintage. It's an album book, so it's different things that uh, different pictures throughout. It's like a yearbook, I guess is how you could say it. It's actually, pretty cool. And it's also sort of like a history or a timeline or a diary. So there's that one. This one is really cool. Shows Elvis's face in a million different pictures. Um, this is from 2002. It is vintage. It does have the authentic authenticity sticker. And it's called Elvis, then and now, official Graceland 25th anniversary collector's edition. Um, I don't know if the CD is in here. Probably not. Actually, it would have been pretty cool if it was. Because they didn't make very many of those CDs. So there's that. Next one is exclusive, your all all access pass to the Graceland Archive, Elvis, Volume 5, from 2016. It's my favorite photographs by Priscilla Presley and personal stories and candid moments with the king of rock and roll from the one who knew him best. So, Penny, here's your chance to see him without some clothes on. <laughs> it might be in there somewhere. Oh, there you go. He's got the bedroom eyes. There you go. Uh, uh, yeah, it's in there. So there you go. There's that one. This one is from 2007. Life Magazine. Remembering Elvis 30 years later. Um, a new expanded edition of Life's Classic Book with never-before-seen photographs. You, you missed it, Penny. You had to be watching. <laughs> so here we go. There's that book, Life. There's the date. Here's the back. Still in pretty good, perfect condition. Let's see what kind of pictures this one has. 
These are actually kind of cool pictures. I'll show you one of them carefully, as this has not been opened very often. <laughs> Whoa. All right. Well, I got one for you, Penny. There you go. Oh, my goodness. So young. Oh, here you go. Here you go. They're completely naked. <laughs> These are some cool pictures. Here's that one. And then we have a gold collector series, a tribute to Elvis Presley, 21st anniversary silver edition. Um, I don't see a year on it. This is volume one. I don't think I, oh. Okay, that's not a real signature, good. Woo. This one might be a little bit more vintage. I don't know. Hmm, really cool. <laughs> the picture I showed you was the same picture that was in the other book. Just a little bit older. And I actually do have this piece sitting right here. So there you go. All those books, 30 bucks. This could be shipped media mail, all in pretty good. <laughs> she might go to heaven loving you for bringing her those books, Stash. <laughs> <laughs> $30 for all of that. <laughs> you might get her heart going really good. <laughs> if there's no interest, I'm going to go right back to Susanna. Are you ready? I'm ready. I just packed up Amy's stuff. So, <laughs> Hi, Penny. Okay, you're back, dear. This is the lot. It's I'm going to sell it for 25. It's all these stamps starting bid at 25. So what we have here and, and basically these are almost brand new. Most of them are new. I've never used. So you have and they are the wood back. So just a note. Here you go. You have very pretty. Um, I have a cat. As you can see, never used. The basket with the bird, with apples. How cute is that? Again, never used. What about the whole hole punches? You want hole punches? I have pull hole punches too. Honey, you just want my closet? I'll give you. Take my closet. I'll give it to you. <laughs> <laughs> if you can come here and wrap it up and take it, it's yours. Yeah, I have hole punches as well. Um, there's that one there. This one was, I think, probably used once that I did. Um. One here that says, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, thank you. And just to clean them off, you know, it's just, um, you know, those little wet ones comes right off nice and clean. Of course, did I do it? No. Thinking of you. Uh, what comes from the heart goes to the heart. Got that one. 
There you go. Um, we got a congratulations. Oh, this one's so cute. It's the bird nest. I don't even know what I have. I have so much. The best memories are memories that are shared. The little flower. I have uh, the greatest gift of Christmas is the love, warmth, friends and family share. And then I have, oh, I love you. That one's never been used. I wonder why. I love people. And then you got <laughs> little devils. And then, uh, oh, look at that one. I got Tigger. Oh, cute. That is so cute. Isn't he cute? So we have Tigger. Not sure how he's going, but yep, we got Tigger. We got a pear with a bird. Um, Mama bear, Papa bear, and baby bear with a porridge right Aww. there. Very cute. We have a big one. They can't understand you. It's a big one. Thank you. Penny. Penny's in at 25. Awesome. Thank you, Penny. Hope is the thing with, with feathers that perches in the soul and sings the tune without words and never stops at all by Emily Dickerson. And this one is from 1998. Well, we got a little rubber one. I don't know what that one says. Bark, I think, bark. And we have more. That one's not, that one's not good. We got a little what do you call those the uh, from a dog uh, print we got a love three birds are you guys getting bored oh look at the I'm, not, I'm looking at them <laughs> Look at the doggy, so cute. That Thank is cute. It was. Thank you for all the special things you do. Um, this one is the loyal order of friends of Boyd's. I guess it's a Boyd's bear stamp. I got the bears. Look at that, so cute. That is. Uh, friends, it's the um, definition of friends. A person whom, a person whom you know well is fond of. That's a person, that's your friend. You got a leaf. And then you have the rose. So all of these, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Wow. A dollar a piece. 
that's less than a dollar a piece. Yep. Yeah, that's a great deal. It sure is. And like I said, most of them, I'd say 85% of them never been used. Yeah, that is a lot. And it's well worth that 25. Yeah. But Penny doesn't resell them. She does, does she, hoard them. Mm-hmm. All right, if there's no other interest, we are going to start calling it going once to Penny for 25. Penny, I'll put this all with the other stuff in the media mail. So hopefully it'll be, you know, cheaper for you for shipping. Going twice. Fair warning. We are now sold to Penny for 25. Awesome. Thank you, Penny. All right, I'm gonna bring us all up here. We're gonna call it there because I need to go eat, you guys. I got to eat. So yeah. Carol's tired. She's got that big smile on her face like she's gonna kill one of us if we don't go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can go to bed now, Carol. <laughs> <laughs> don't show me your tongue. You can't show. Don't, don't do it. So, so if, if any of you guys have channels on on your on your YouTube channel where you do things, please drop that in the chat below now. Now is your time to put it in. Um, so that way we can all subscribe to one another. We have more than enough love in this community to be sharing it with everyone. Absolutely. So, go ahead. I said absolutely. We do. Right. So. Um, also, do you have anything going on throughout the week, uh, Dawn or Susanna or Carol? Yeah. Dawn, you want to go first? Okay. Um, tomorrow night, uh, will be Autumn Grace's, yeah, Autumn Grace's channel. Um, boy, what time? I've been, <laughs> I've been off all weekend, so I'm sitting here. Usually, um... <laughs> I was supposed to have a show yesterday, so I'm like, Ugh. when I'm working every day, then I'm more, um, I believe it's probably around 7 p.m. or so. Uh, just uh, uh, definitely be sub to Autumn Grace. And then Wednesday will be my channel, and Carol might be there. I don't know. <laughs> I know. I'm not pushing yeah. you, Carol. I'm not pushing yeah. you. But uh, I know I'm Autumn gonna will be there. I'm going to shoot for Sunday fun day. Yeah. If nothing that's... else happens. I'm going to need novenas oh my... over my head. From your lips to God's ears, please. <laughs> yes. Otherwise, you know, I we said, will come over and bubble wrap you. I'm <laughs> going gonna, gonna to grab some holy water and I'm going to spray it on. <laughs> oh, well, she's going to see me. So, so yeah. yeah. See me going. <laughs> I'll stop praying like my mother. I need that rosary. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there we go. Me and Tia. I haven't seen one of those in a long time. You Tia? You haven't? A man Tia. A Tia? You go like this. And then it's how my mother used to go to church. Yep. And go like this. And she'd say, I have a million. Please, please make better. Please. Up the son. She's <laughs> Hey, you want to buy? I have over here. You want to buy? More. <laughs> buy more. <laughs> yeah, <need> more. <laughs> yeah, huh, Patty? They're going to bubble wrap me. <laughs> so anything else going on, on your channel this week, Don? Uh, so, yeah, Wednesday night will definitely be, uh, Wednesday night will be 6 p.m. Eastern, my channel. And then Thursday night, back at Autumn's. 8 p.m. Eastern. I know, guys. It's like a back and forth with Autumn and I. It's like I hear there. <laughs> so basically, most of the week. Friday, I think I have the day off. As of right now. <laughs> I have a busy week. I have an extremely busy week. So tomorrow morning at 9 a.m., I'm going to be on Paul Antonelli's uh, channel because we're doing, um, I am going to start eBay. Cool. Awesome. Yes, I am going to start eBay. And he is going to take me from the beginning through my process. He's going to show me how to set it up 
well, I have an eBay account. Just never did anything with it because I don't know. So he's going to um, help me with that. And hopefully if there's anybody else in the chat that we can help as well, that's a bonus, definitely. Um, so that's at 9 a.m. Paul Antonelli's channel tomorrow morning. And then on Wednesday, I have Johnny's auction at three, Cajun Root Cellar. And then I might have an interview with KK on Wednesday night. Not sure, but I think I do at 8 p.m. Um, Thursday morning at nine in the morning again with Paul um, Antonelli, because we're going to see how I did by listing and the follow up on that. Friday at 8 p.m. on Kathy's Corners channel, KK's channel, I'll be on with Grayscale and we're going to be selling our art. So I'll only be selling art, my paintings on Friday night at 8 p.m. Kathy's channel. Awesome. Yep. So, and then Carol, do you know when you're coming back full time like you were? Or? Well, I'm going to take baby steps and I'm going to do Sunday. Um, Because with this COVID testing sites at work on Tuesdays and Fridays, they wear me out. And yeah, but now tomorrow, thank God. We've got a couple of student nurses coming in and they're going to do, I'm going to teach them the ropes and they're going to do the work. And I'm just going to sit back and supervise. So on my channel, the, well, I'm going to start trying to do more Mondays, but we're kind of feeling how it goes for me before I decided fully 100% jump in and say yes. Um, otherwise, 6 p.m. on Paul Antonelli's channel, I do the Dolly and Polly show with Paul. Maybe we can kind of shove Carol in there so she's not out, you know, bumping her head on the ground. And, and <laughs> you don't need to send her some, you know, bubble wrap because she yeah. got in touch with it, you know. I'm going to need to make some money to repair my driveway. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll see you guys on that channel. And if you guys haven't already done so, please hit that thumbs up, show my channel some love. And if you're not subscribed to Dawn, Susanna, or Carol, please do so as well. And hit oh, that orange. You could be a pumpkin. Look, it's for Carol. Yes, I need, Carol. I need the big, big A bubbles big because one. the small ones. Big bubbles. <laughs> we can pop you. So make I sure you know. Of, I got a couple of rolls over here, but they're the small bubbles. I told Tina I needed bubble wrap. So she goes, she goes to Home Depot and she buys me bubble wrap. What color? Orange. <laughs> Home Depot. So if you guys haven't already done so, hit that thumbs up. Make sure you hit that bell and make sure you're subscribed to each other's channel so you know when we go on next. And with that, I'm saying goodnight to y'all and the rest of you guys hang in. Bye.